Well, hello there, YouTubers. This is basically a video that I might talk about. And this is basically the first video that I'm filming on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. So I'm giving this one a thumbs up. And in this video, we will show you all of my Tomash, the Tank Engine and Friends collections. I'm saying Tomash, not Thomas. So it's basically a rip-off of the Thomas and Friends series. So I'm calling it Tomash and the Flip Flat Railway Friends to avoid copyright leakage. Or maybe copyright infringement, that's how I say it. Okay, the rolling stock I've got currently now, we've got Tomash. This is the first model I've done. And very, very nicely enough, he was created around August 2018. And it was somewhere around late August, of course. And the very nice feature is that you can open the back door, which is actually the back light of him, which is very, very nice. He's got eight wheels, so he's like an 062 locomotive. Very interesting, isn't it? It's a very nice looking locomotive. Or he is a very nice looking locomotive. One thing that's spooking about Tomash is that he's got the Ash Ketchum style logo on the sides of him alongside the number one of him. So that's a very interesting treat. Sort of gets me quite interested, isn't it? And yes, the rolling stock I can see is a troublesome truck. And there's a generic red passenger coach. And speaking of passenger coaches, what about... This coach here, which is basically Andrea, and this coach here, Chloe Bell, got very shocking faces, and they've also got barcodes on the top of the roofs. And yes, they go well with Tom Ash himself because of the fact he's like Tom Ash's engine himself, pulling Annie and Chloe Bell. Next engine here is Edwin the Blue Engine, which is basically a very nice ripoff of Edward. Probably one of the oldest engines on Soda. His tenor is a bit too big, I feel like, I suppose. But the very nice feature is that you can open the cab door and you can feature... There's a very nice feature that you can see inside. There's a little cardboard tube inside here which sounds utterly amazing indeed. So yes, let's back up Edwin. And let's take a look at Henrik, the green engine. He looks so, so cool indeed. Oh, isn't it so awesome indeed to see him. And it uh, looks quite nice, doesn't he, Henrik? And he's got his buffers being chipped up or cut off for some reason, I suppose. That's making a great big focus here. It's a very nice generic anime face of Henry. And uh, yes, it's very, very cool indeed. And uh, I would say Tom Ash is like a, a rip-off or a cross between Ash Ketchum and Thomas. And they pulled on the big engine. Oh, I don't know why I've got seven wheels instead of, let's say, six. And uh, he looks pretty cool indeed. He's got a very tender. He's got a very big tender there. Number four on the side there. Yes, he's got seven wheels. It's probably the largest of all engines I've got in the house or in the whole franchise. And he's got an express coach right at the background right there. This express coach here looks quite detailed in a sense. It does look quite detailed. And uh, it certainly does. I mean, it goes well with Corden, eh? I've only made one of these, so maybe in the future I might make, probably make more of these perhaps. And let's back Corden up to his express coach, a bit like a semi driving there. Very weird, isn't it? And uh, the next uh, character we might take a look at is James. Basically, a rip off of James the Red Engine with his bright red shining paint. Oh, yeah! And the tender overall opens maybe on the back area here. And I think his tender is quite long. Just give me a sec. Let me try and find a way to unpack this, hey? Oh yes, there's the secret you have to just hold these tabs there, and um, there you go. Just simply opens like that. Very nice feature on James, or should I say James, the red engine here. Very, very nice indeed. He's got a very cool face. Yeah, alright, let's get him. Oh no, his tender looks like it's falling apart. We can fix that, perhaps. And uh, his tender looks like it's falling apart. I'm have to do some work with him. But nevertheless, it looks pretty cool. And the next engine we're going to take a look at is Parsley, the small engine. It looks like Percy, but with six wheels. Or should we say, it looks like a six-wheeled version of Percy. It's got a puffle face. A bit like Edwin there in the background there. And um, the back door is, of course, a light. Yeah, looks pretty nice indeed. A bit like Tomash. Very nice feature, eh? Uh, but he's in a different design. So he's more of a saddle tank. And he's more inside cylinder. And he's got a very interesting light there on the side there. A bit like Tomash. And if I show you Tomash... Right here, he's got a light there. It's right there here, where my finger is, eh? So it's actually quite a very nice variety of engines here that you can see here in this video. Pretty interesting, isn't it? 
And then we'll take a look at Tobias, which is basically a ripoff of Toby. Very cool, isn't it? The lights on the back there. Not really enough unique features there, apart from the um, the cow catcher at the front here. I suppose it's a very nice, interesting ripoff of Toby. And um, it's quite nice, isn't it? I don't know why. I'm not sure if you can see that there's a little bit of X's there on Toby's, or I should say Tobias's windows, and also the face there. I'm actually calling him Tobias because he reminds me of Tobias from that very interesting fan-made film, Tobias and the Half Pariah. And we'll take a look at Duck, or Montgomery as I call him, which is basically a rip-off of Montague. In my opinion, I suppose he's a very nice looking engine, it looks quite long, and he's got the number 8. Sorry for that interruption at somewhere, but um, yes, the star of this engine is a great Western Railway Panier tank, it's got two domes, and his back door opens, a bit like Tomash and Parsley, very nice feature indeed. It's got very, very cool design, so it's a very nice interpretation of a pannier tank from Great Western Railway, eh? And guess what? He's going to say something like this. There are two ways of doing things, the Great Western way and the wrong way. But do you know the way? Oh, yes, indeed, Duck. I'm going to give this one a double thumbs up. Where'd you go, Duck? Oh, sorry about that one, Tobias. Let's back Montgomery Duck all the way like that. And yes, what about these three new engines here? We've got Dooney and Doogie and we've got olive oil in the background there. And these are basically one of the newest engines I've made. So let's take a look at Doogie, or should we say Dooney and Doogie. And the very interesting way to tell about Dooney and Doogie is you can tell by their names. This one's Dooney, who is the number nine Scottish twin engine, yeah, which looks like Donald and Douglas. And uh, it's got a very interesting face. It looks like a sneezer face. Or oh, Weavile face, I think it looks more like a Sneasel face. And if we take a look at Donny there, it's got the tender there on the back there. It's got a barcode there on the back of the tender. Very, very nice indeed. And we'll take a look at Doogie, which is very nice for an interpretive type of Scottish engine, I suppose. It's got the same features as, as Donny, but it's got a different face. Very nice in the way it's been designed here. And the tender there looks like it's a lot more darker than Donny. I've never expected this one here. The tender, of course, the buffers, they look very, very nice. Yep. Doogie, how could you go wrong? Looks very, very nice, isn't it? And we'll grab one of the newest engines I've made. This is Olive Oil, which is like a rip-off of Oliver, the Western engine. And um, he looks pretty cool indeed. Let's give him a bit of focus. One thing I like about this locomotive here is that he looks pretty unique indeed. He's a very nice characteristic locomotive here. He's got green eyes. Very, very beautiful indeed. He's got the number 11 on the side there. A couple of domes there, probably three. And yes, uh, there's no feature in the back there, but there's a very nice feature in the cab there. You can open the door here like that. And I think he's probably one of the tallest tank engines ever to have been designed. He's much taller than Duck. Uh, Parsley and Tomash, and we'll drive him away. And what's scaring me is that there's some super glue on olive oil here, so I might have to leave them on the floor and let them dry. And same goes with Dougie and Donnie. Very nice looking engines indeed. Originally, I was going to make them into another Tomash, but it wasn't because of the way the dome was created. But nevertheless, I'm going to give this one a mega thumbs up for making this huge Tomash, the tank engine and friends, or should I say Tomash, the tank engine and flip that railway friends collection of toy trains. Choo -woo! Okay, let's digress into something which is a bit interesting, or well, let's try and dissect all of these packagings there, which are basically flapping bird toys. And we'll take a look at these ones there. This is a common Mugal. Breeding Flock 6-pack, it's a British Wildlife Collection toy, Flip Flap Origami Flapping Birds toy. And we'll take a look what it says there, pretty bland, but it looks pretty nice as well. That's what it says there, British Wildlife Collection toy range product. And uh, it looks pretty nice, as you can tell, about this product, eh? It's based on Lois Canis, which is the common new girl. And we'll take a look what's inside. So hopefully we've got six of these seagulls. Oh yeah! So let's give one of these a bit of a flap and see how this one works. This one's got a very weird looking sort of eye, which is very interesting, I suppose. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool indeed. And we'll try and flap the other one here. And um, I don't know how big or small my camera is, but it looks pretty nice to be in high quality there. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it looks totally outstanding. We'll try and flap the other one here. It makes a bit of a very interesting sound. And uh, this one here, it looks like it's a bit 
weirdly coloured on the eyes there. And we'll take a look at this one here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to flap them or because I'm very worried about the Samsung Galaxy Note tablet camera here. Uh, it may stop recording. But I can tell you what, guys, these birds look awesome indeed, especially their yellow feet and also the name there, Common Mugal. Yes, showing you by the booty there, it says Common Mugal. Very cool indeed, oh yeah. And let's try and repack them all, and I'll get myself back into another product here. So I might probably get myself back once I've repacked all these birds, or should we say seagulls, for another product. Okay, it's done already, and we'll take a look at this very, very interesting, uh, what do you call it, cockfighting red jungle fowl roosters dual pack. This one cost me about £15.97, and this one here, the common mugal breeding flock six pack, actually cost about £18.97. So it's a very nice looking product, it's got the English flag on the back there, I've already shown you that. And we'll take a look at this one here, which is the cockfighting red jungle fowl roosters dual pack. Sort of reminds me it brings back a lot of memories to Malaysia because I've actually seen wild chickens in Malaysia. There's the instructions down on the back there. And it's actually got some pipe cleaner tails, which looks sounds pretty amazing. And we'll take a look at what's inside. Oh yeah. I don't know why flip up toys are now getting expensive these days. But look at the design of these things. I mean wow man. Look at that. It's a very nice looking chicken. Oh, I should have just said. And we've just gone straight in the camera. Ah! Well, yes, yeah, sorry about the manic cock trying to attack my camera, eh? but boy, boy, these birds look pretty amazing indeed. It's got yellow eyes there. And yes, the face looks pretty colourful indeed. Yeah, I love the way the wings have been setting up, and I suppose. And what's very, very nice is, is that the tail streamers can actually be poseable like that. It's a very nice feature. I mean, look at that. This is actually pretty cool when you make flip-up toys like that, I suppose. I mean, it just looks freaking cool, eh? And, I mean, it's got yellow feet down on the back there. It doesn't have a name, which is a bit disappointing, but nevertheless, it's sort of an amazing chicken-looking toy. Oh, yeah. And we'll take a look at this very, very big cock here, which is basically similar to the other one here, and we'll try and flap this one here. But look at the size of this of this booster here. It looks very, very big. Looks like a peacock by the looks of it, and um, it looks pretty cool indeed. And you can sell off, just pose the same way as the other rooster or cock that I've just made. It just looks pretty awesome. It's got, and um, it's got the same details as the other cock, but it's much bigger. And it's also got an orange comb, the orange comb there, which is very different to this red one here, found in the bird base version here. Quite a big model. And uh, it looks very, very nice when you have tail streamers on the back there, just like that. It's probably one of the most attractive of all flip out toys that I've actually seen before. Anyways, that's that. And one way to probably repack your roosters here, or cockerels as we call them, is I might probably place them on a very nice sort of packaging like that. And hopefully there's plenty of room for both of these great big jungle fowls which is basically the wild interpretations of a wild chicken. Maybe I'm just saying things wrong, maybe that's the way I'm just saying. But anyways, that's probably about it. Well, I've got to tell you what, this toy view is absolutely brilliant because I can tell you what, I am filming with this thing, with basically I'm filming this video with a Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 camera, which is just absolutely outstanding. And I just cannot help myself just smiling about all the good things and the bad things about my YouTube channel and yes the greatest thing is using this camera makes it very easy to make videos like this. You know what? You're gonna say this don't you in my videos eh? Thanks for watching and bye for now and we'll see you later. Bye. Actually I might have a bit of a sneak peek inside this wardrobe here and there's actually Apart from my uniform there, guess what? There's this very awesome Thomas Wild Ride set here. Now, I might make another video about this. I might have to make a separate video for this one here because it's going to be very, very complex. I do have another one of these sets before. But I'll tell you what, this is actually very awesome. I can't remember how much it was selling for, but it's a very awesome Trackmaster set. Now, this was the time where Trackmaster looked like this before 2014 released Trackmaster in a very different way, you know, the way they've redesigned Thomas 
and uh, it looks very, very awesome indeed. I've also got Trackmaster Luke, and uh, I might do this for Christmas Day, but I could tell you what, this is actually going to be an excellent set to review. So look out for this product, hopefully when I make a video about this one here. And I've got to tell you what, this is going to be an absolutely amazing product to review once again and for all.